Hello everyone and welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. In the last session, we did quite a bit of time hopping. We uh, we went to a bunker in the 20, early 2100s uh, and learned about the, the androids being made there and we got recruited by the Tommy androids to try and help her out of there. Now, the Tommy android isn't necessarily Tommy's mind in that occasion. We know that the one that Tetsuya Ida was originally building was Tommy's AI mind in Tommy's body, but I noticed that they didn't specifically say that it was Tommy's mind in that one. They just said an AI had hijacked, a, had taken a body and run or something. So that might not have been Tommy. Not sure. It still could have been, though. Uh, anyway, today... We're going to be doing Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. These names are slowly starting to seep in. It's it's been it's been a while, but they are slowly starting to actually imprint on my brain, which is good. because uh, it was definitely a struggle right at the start. Like, hey, here's 13 characters. Here's all their names. By the way, some of them have two different names. And it's like, oh god. The remains from the incident in the girls' bathroom pointed to Tommy Kisaragi as a possible sub subject suspect. However, a witness statement raised the possibility of there being two Kisaragis. Huh? We must investigate. Up to the rooftop in 1985. Sip, so sip, sipping on the juice box. happened in the girls' bathroom. But one thing's for damn sure. Nachan's definitely involved. Definitely. Gotta look for more clues. But not in the way you might think. She was just there. Can't go wrong with apple juice. Me and Nachan used to drink it all the time when we were kids. Same. I haven't had apple juice in years now, but it used to be. I used to have it constantly. Some flirty rich kid who won't stop following me around. There you are. I've been looking for you. <sighs> Sup, Erica Iba? There's still a green one. Uh, What do we reckon it would be? Huh. There's only which one's the new red one? Maybe we should look around the girls' bathroom again. Oh, didn't I tell you? They've started renovating. Even oh, yeah? if we can get inside, there's nothing to see anymore. Well, shit. That was fast. Are you upset with me? <sighs> Just been antsy without my cigarettes. Something happened in the girls' bathroom of the North. What follows is an in. Which is the new Something one? Something that. She was in the. Nachan. Shiki. That damn. Okay, it's gotta be this one then, right? Oh no, we did that one. Is it just more on Tommy? Right before the incident in the girls' bathroom. Ah. There was another Kisaragi chasing after Nachan. Kisaragi is also one of the names on that list. So that means Four Eyes wants me to watch her. That was the other new one. Okie doke. It's been several days since Minami-san has gone missing. She isn't sick, contrary to what her teacher says. That liar! She didn't run away, contrary to the rumor that's been going around. It seems likely she was involved in something much more sinister. The wind feels nice. Been keeping this place all to yourself, huh? Don't you have anything better to do? Takamiya-san, you are the Holmes. And I am the Watson! Erica Aiba, at your service. Please, call me Erica. I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. How would you like to start? I met Aiba while I was trying to find out more about Nachan. Seems she likes me. Follows me around like a damn puppy dog. Even my steeliest glare doesn't faze her. Indeed. Freaking weirdo. <laughs> so, what should we do? Conduct interviews? <laughs> I love mystery novels. 
I've always wanted to be a detective, too. <sighs> I'm not playing pretend, you know. Uh, yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. Indeed. Huh? Well, at least I'll try to be. Which should we look into first? Okay, that's you out. This place is a dump. Okay, I guess we go to the hallway. Who can we meet here? Maybe not John's in here. Or not. Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. What? Okay, we already, they're grayed out. Have we already done this? Have we already spoken to her? I guess so. Okay. Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. It's been a while since we played this bit, but I think we have done this bit before. So Obviously we're looking for something new this yes. time though. Okay, yeah, we've seen that. They're asking if I am that other person. Interviewing. Can go to the athletics building. Is there anything new we can get from these guys? Can I? Have a minute. No, it doesn't appear so. Okay, let's go to the athletics building then. You stay here. We struggled to get in last time, didn't we? Hey. Okay, we spoke to him. Oh. Spoke to her. Did you Spoke to her. Hello. Spoke to her. Okay, I guess we can just head in. Nothing new in there. I thought I told you to. The locker room of. I thought. Maybe we should look around the girls' back. What new is that? This is this this is being confusing. Should I just leave? Where's the new content? I wish they made it a bit more obvious. It is a bit, it does seem a little bit fillery the way they make you go through the same things multiple times. Like they could just make it clear what you need to do to get new stuff. I'm Takamiya, but the- Like, yeah, okay, so that's nothing new there. You got anything new? I can see it. It's just the girls' bathroom with you, which we've already asked you like three times. Maybe we should look around. Back to the hallway. the stuff we've already done. Wait, you've got a triangle above your head now? Is that the fucking girl's bathroom thing again? 
Why does it keep coming up? You don't have anything new to ask about. Go back to the roof? I don't know, man. I've got no fucking idea where the new stuff is. I feel like I've cycled through every conversation. <gasps> Hello. Is this oh, new gotcha. stuff? I guess. Oh, hell. You again? Is your handkerchief dry yet? Yeah, this is new. You really come all the way up here just to make fun of me? I really ain't in the mood to deal with you today. Just... Leave me alone, will you? Okay. I think it may be ill advised to associate with hoodlums. Thank you for your fucking excellent advice. Okay, but now his name is Red, and there's no- I can't interact with him at all, so... I really... Aha! Where's the new stuff? What am I missing? I've cycled through every conversation, and I cannot, for the life of me, find anything new. Checked that. Checked that. Checked that. That doesn't give anything new. And then it's go back to the athletics building. And there's nothing new there either. What the fuck am I missing? This is annoying. You stay here. Did you? I want. Hello. What the fuck am I missing? That's just the girl's bathroom thing. There must be something in here, right? How Could I have missed something in here? It's not like it's a big room. Check all around it. That's just Nat's locker. That's just to exit it. Does she say something different about it depending on where you ask her? Maybe we should look. No, same thing. Hmm. Tiny nameplates. Not chance. I think I have an all. What in the fuck is new? I thought I. Th I thought. That just loops. This is really annoying, man. What? <laughs> It's not like there's that many people to talk to. I've cycled through every conversation twice now, haven't I? And I, there's just nothing new, but clearly there is something new because it wouldn't let me go into it if there was nothing new to find. So there is. Event archive. No, that's not. I'm, I'm looking. Isn't there? A, isn't there a way to see the timeline or something? Uh, I'm just trying all the buttons. It doesn't. Doesn't look like there's a way to see the timeline. But I'm sure. I could have sworn there was.
Maybe something to do with the girls in the hallway somehow that I've missed? I've tried every button and the timeline hasn't come up, so I guess not. Why is Minami's notebook green? Is there something that I not read? Central number 17 added? Can I talk to someone about Sentinel 17? I wonder if that's what I was missing. Do I need an another prompt? Maybe I can talk to... Nenji on the roof about Sentinel-17? Does Nenji even know about the Sentinels at this point? Oh, God. Nope, you can't talk to him about the Sentinels. Follows is an I have Can I talk to you about extraterrestrial beings? No. Maybe one of the girls in the hallway? I really don't like this trial and error stuff, man. I really think this is just very fillery and they should have made it clear what you need to be doing in this instance, because this is just like, there's, there's nothing to it. Have a minute. Maybe we should look around. Oh, it's not who I was talking to. Now you. Nothing there. It's got to be one of these book things. I've got to talk to someone about something in one of these books, right? You stay here. Did you? That's just an Atsuno one. Oh. Nothing for you. Okay. An extra turret. Maybe if I read the notebook what here. These advance. Oh, there's a red. There's a red thingy. Oh my god, who is it? Who gets the red thingy? Who gets the red thingy? Is it the captain? No, is it you? Oh my god. Yo, where's Tokisaka Shrine? It's nearby, actually. Oh, what a pain in the ass. should go check it out. Take me there, will ya? I'm gonna go grab my bag. I'll meet you at the front gate. Holy shit, what a pain in the ass that was. Hey, it's Ryoko. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe not Nacha... Okay, that's not the new one. The box? Is that Something the new one? that the girl on the track team mentioned. She said Nachan went into the locker room to get a box and described it as some kind of UFO gadget. Hmm. Hmm. That was indeed the new one. Shino no me. You okay there, girl? Hey. Yuki Takamiya. Weren't you told not to contact me? Shino no me. There's... Something I need to speak to you about. Uh. All right, fine. Make it quick. I wonder if she's a robot, given how her chest's all bandaged. Because to hide the mm. the Tommy android, hid the fact that she was an android by bandaging up the leg where the skeleton was showing through. Uh. I wonder if Ryoko also has an android an android underneath and it's got somehow the skin's got destroyed on top so she's having to bandage it up to not let that show so before natsunomi nami vanished 
I heard she was being pursued by men in black suits. If that's true, you've got some serious explaining to do. I've already told you. Natsuno Minami has to do with my investigation. But I can tell you one thing for certain. We didn't kidnap her. If we had, there'd be no need for this investigation in the first place. Are you giving me your word on that? Get back to your assignment. Hmm, okay. Wait. Yeah? Got more to say? There was something you said before. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. You said you hid something for me. Oh, right. You told me to hide it. You don't remember, do you? It was in the passageway to the old school building. Future her, maybe? The old school building? What happened there? You were watching something. It was being shown through a projector. And you started crying. A projector? Yeah. And you were saying something about Four Eyes. Mr. Ida? Oh. So sudden. My pills. <sighs> the pills that Chihai is giving her? She no no me. Think about what happened at the old building. It wasn't too long after I transferred here. I saw her. She was near Sorry the old school building. Bye-bye! <laughs> <Buh -bye. sighs> I was thinking there were fewer people around here. So, this is the old school building. I heard it's gonna be demolished soon. No doubt it is old. It was built during the war. Seems like a shame, really. This place is so quiet. Would have been a perfect place to hang out. If I had been serious about my studies, I wonder if I could have gone into Sakura the normal way. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, right. Seems fairly smart. Huh? My ID is huh. now registered. I'm shutting off your AI function. Search for it. It's somewhere in your memory. Look for the information on me and Mr. Ida. It was all a lie. Is this me from the future? His love was nothing but empty words. Mr. Ida. He was using me right from the very start. I was huh. such a fool. We are all that remains of humanity. And still we deceive each other. So filled with hate. I have had enough. This can't be real. Humanity has always been fated for ruin. Project Ark was a mistake. But it is already in its second stage. I cannot stop it. All I can do is derail it. I have linked in parts of the terraforming project. The heavy machinery will then purge humans from all sectors. Uh. If everything goes according to plan, the final phase will be reset. And all sectors will fall into a never-ending loop. Uh, what? Remains will be a peaceful world. Finally free of humanity. No. I couldn't have. This place will be destroyed as well. The human race has reached its end. We have no need for a future. What in the hell? Okay. That's pretty big. Because that's saying that she's the reason for all this? But then isn't... Isn't Tetsuya Ida, and uh, slash Shu Amaguchi, isn't he only using her because they are trying to prevent what is going on in the future? 
So it's cyclical. He's using her to stop what she does because he used her when she was little. Which he did because she set it off in the future because he used it when etc. I is hmm. Hmm. It can't be uh, uh, hey. Wait a minute. You're the girl that was with Four Eyes. Shinonome, right? It's impossible. Are you okay? Did I do it? Was it really me? I destroyed the world? No, I won't believe it. Mr. Ida would never deceive me. <laughs> I've got what bad news to you. Talking about? There's no way. That isn't my future. <laughs> Why would you not believe a message from yourself? Just take a deep breath. Okay? Come on, stand up. Who were you talking about? Was it Four Eyes? <laughs> If that's the future we're heading for, then what good are these? Shit. What is occurring? Medicine? <sighs> Here. Don't you need these? Why? Why are you trying to help me? Well, I just... You're my senpai at the SIU, so... Uh. Oh, yeah. That thing is crazy. Is it a new kind of projector or something? So how do you work this thing? I want to see that video again. Uh -huh. Hey, are you all right? Get that thing out of here, please. Don't tell Mr. Ida. Don't tell anyone, please. In the nurse's office now. believe you collapsed on me like that uh, hey whoa you sure you're okay to get up Are you all right uh. here it's your medicine Morimura made you take those pills, too. It was the first thing she did when I carried you in here. Are you sure it's okay? To take so much of it, I mean. I don't understand. Why did you have my medicine? Oh, you've forgotten? You don't know what happened? You threw the bottle on the ground, so I picked it up for you. I threw it? Yeah. Anyway, about that... Thing. Are you sure it was okay? Huh? She clearly doesn't remember. What? The thing you told me to hide. I said no such thing. Are you trying to play games with me? You were babbling on and on about that damn four eyes. And crying a lot. What? Me? Don't lie to me. What the hell is going on with this girl? 
It literally just happened. Uh. Shit, seriously? What are those for, anyways? I can't think straight unless I take them. Okay, that's know, that's. Dude. That looks like bad news to me. Maybe a bit too many there. Hello. Oh. Iori Fusaka herself. I'm fine. Takamiya-san, please just stay out of this. <sighs> Is something wrong? No. It's just. You don't look too well. Maybe some medicine would make you feel better. <laughs> I'm out of here. To be continued. Suspicious pills. Okay, so that went... We went from the front gate to the flashback, but there were two other ways we could have gone. We could have not initiated that flashback and uh, Holmes came out and we could have gone from there, I guess. And then another way as well. Huh. Okay, well, it was a fucking pain in the ass to get to that point. But uh, very, very cool. Very big stuff. Once we actually <laughs> figured out where to go. New mystery file. 2188. Okay, that is the furthest forward we've ever seen. In footage from 2188... Ryoko Shinonome is broken-hearted after realizing that Tetsuya Ida has been using her from the very beginning. She loses all hope for humanity and alters Project Ark so that the heavy machinery will purge humans from all sectors. Her goal was to trigger a reset every time the project reaches its final process, causing all sectors to fall into a never-ending loop. And we know that that is what happened, right? They were talking about the loop being broken and it being their final chance and stuff. So the loop was in place for a while at least. She did successfully do it. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh, normally this is about where we'd wrap up, but because I spent like fucking 20 minutes... Oh, shit. Ryoko Shinonome's story is now available. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Yeah, I was about to say because I uh, spent so long faffing around trying to figure out how to progress there, we'll do one more. And perfect because I need to I need to start her Ryoko Shinonome one of the biggest mysteries in this whole game who are you where'd you come from and what's your deal lunch period 2064 Mr. Ida. Shinonome -kun. I have a question regarding what we talked about today Will you answer it for me? No bandages on her neck at this point. Mr. Ida? I thought I had made myself clear. You are to avoid contact with me while at school. I will make an exception this once. What is your question? It's about your feelings, Mr. Ida. You said I was special. You are special. The thing is, I felt it too. The moment you arrived, I knew you'd be special. That something might happen between us. Uh. Isn't he like. <laughs> this is. He's grown up Amaguchi, so this is like super not good, right? Mr. Ida, the substitute teacher. He's here to fill in while our teacher is on maternity leave. I've come to find he's quite mysterious and comes with his own set of secrets. Mr. Ida, I've never... I've never felt this way before. Okay. Just thinking about you makes me... I have already explained to you what my position is. While you are important to me, to all of us, you and the rest of those chosen as pilots, your well-being is of the utmost importance to the mission. You do understand what I'm saying, don't you? Please don't cause any trouble for me, Shino no Mekun. 
It is true you are quite exceptional, Shinonome-kun. Your intelligence and adaptability are above average. And your piloting technique is more than sufficient. With you on our side, we stand a real chance. Of but you saving the world from you. To the cause. To achieve victory, one must prepare with a full heart and great tenacity. Victory has been added to the thought the cloud. The internet has been talking of nothing but what happened last week. A group of invaders had come ashore. Their attack held back by a mysterious robot. Mr. Ida, is your only desire to put me inside one of those things? If we don't defend against the attacks on this city, it is no exaggeration when I say that the world will be destroyed. We succeeded in defeating them in the first battle. By ensuring that they were unable to reach the heart of the city, we were able to minimize the damage that was done. But the invasion is just beginning. That attack is nothing compared to what's coming. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, nothing? Hey, Kun. Weren't you the one that said not to contact you? What do you want with Ryoko Senpai? Seki Gaharakun. Stop, Akun. I'm the one who has to talk to him. Senpai. That is true. Nevertheless, we're drawing attention to ourselves. I'm leaving. Wait. I'll do it. If it's what you want, then I'll fight. Are you certain? Yes. I've made up my mind. Then we will meet after school. I'll give you more details then. Wait. I'm in too. You will fight as well? Yeah. I'll do it. I'll go with Ryoko-senpai. That is excellent news. Then I will see you after school as well. Are you sure about this? I am. Ryoko. Oh, that is super weird. She's like... Full-scale invasion. Center of the city defensive battle 2064. Hello. Area B2. Matsuyuki Cho secured. Area D7. 23 remain in the seventh wave. Number 14 has secured a path. Just a little more. Don't stop. You're almost there. Number 14 has taken damage. Shinonomekun, pull back. Now, I can still do this. Number 17, assist number 14. Number 17. No response. Miss Morimura, something's wrong. I'm not getting a response from Sekigahara either. Systems being attacked. From where? Through the laser link. The attack is originating from number 15. Sekigahara kun? Sekigahara is transmitting it to every sentinel.
have time to adjust the settings. Do it as is. The link will be shut off that way. But we'll have no idea where they go. The pilots' lives are the priority. Number 16 and 13 have begun transmitting. Number 12 and 19 transmitted. Number 14 has completed transmission. No response from the others. How did this happen? The kaiju are almost here. We need to go. We can figure out the reason afterward. I was able to access the autonomous type number eight. We can buy time with that. You two, head for the gate. Itakun. Please hurry. I'd rather not die a meaningless death. Miss Morimura, we need to go. Huh. Amaguchi letting him, he's doing a sacrifice play? Staying there to buy them time to escape? Aftermath, City in Ruins, 2025. Oh. All these kids, because of him. Huh. So she, this is, this is, for her, this is right after the battle. She, they cut off this link. A Sekigahara was spreading some kind of virus to the other mechs during the big battle. And so they, the only way they had to shut it off was to transport as many as they could through time to cut off the link. And she ended up here at the point when these guys just arrived here. Mr. Ida. He stayed on the battlefield to the very end. All so we could escape. Huh. This must be his hideout. 426 is a dangerous criminal. It'd be foolish to go in unarmed. Remember what Mr. Ida said. To achieve victory... One must prepare with great tenacity. Prisoner number 426. That's what he was called when imprisoned in the future. And now he travels through time, trying to thwart our work. Oh yeah? Who is he? Uh, this must be his hideout. 426 is a... A gun made in the 2100s. If it comes down to it, I'll use this on him. There's still some ammo left. Well, I mean, it's got to be either Sekigahara, who was fucking them over in battle, or uh, Juro for shooting them, shooting the others, like, earlier in their timelines. Maybe, maybe, because Jihaya took him down, maybe they locked him up and he's number 426? Maybe? <gasps> Ryoko-san. I've got you cornered now, 426. Oh, no, it's A. It's time to pay for what you've done. The screen's, like, shaking a bit every so often. Is it because she's, like... Getting messed up, or by the by the sudden jump or something. I'm taking you in. And if I don't come willingly, if you want to resist, feel free. Just gives me a reason to put a bullet in your head. There's nowhere left to run. Four two six. Who told you I was four two six? I saw the access logs. It was you, Eiseki Gahara. The program that infected the Sentinels. It was created with 426's ID. Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. Whatever.
whatever it is you're trying to do now, I don't care. But I can't forgive you for what you did to Mr. Ida. Because of you, he's... You... You're still going on about Ida? What to do? We're done talking. I should kill you right here. <laughs> then do it. Shoot me. Go on. I'm serious. I'll do it! Huh? The trigger's locked. I'm the registered user. It won't shoot me. Ha. <sighs> I'll take you on myself. Really? With those injuries? Besides... What are you doing? Empty. Like I thought. They'll wear off soon. <sighs> I'm sorry, Ryoko-san. I tried. But I couldn't save you. To be continued. Shit. Shit. What? What? Okay. So Seki Gahara is a dickhead. Potentially. It seems that way. It's, it's, that's certainly the way it's making it seem. But the fact that they said the virus was created with 426's ID doesn't necessarily mean it was created by him. Because someone could have, like, been using his ID without it actually being him, potentially, somehow. Not sure. But that's how she ends up there. So that's... Yeah, that's like after the battle in her timeline. And she's transported back there. And then obviously we've seen what happens when Tommy and everyone else wakes up. And they find her there. And they're going out doing some exploring and bits and bobs. Oh my god, it's so... Oh, I love it. It's so interesting. Okay, let's have a look at these mystery files. We've obtained a whole bunch here. Ryoko Shinonome comes from the future, the destroyed world of 2064. Ever since the battle in 2064, her memories have been getting clouded, as her feelings towards Tetsuya Ida fuel her desire for revenge, which, oh, that's so fucking weird, because he's, like, he is a fully grown-up, uh, shoe. We know the me the, like, middle shoe that was creating, uh, the, the, whatchamacallit, the androids, he was six years older, so adult version is probably at least another six, if not more. Whereas she is still school age. It's very, very weird vibes, even though he's not reciprocating it at all, it seems. Which, like, thank God, because, yeah, yuck, if that was the case. Seems like he's just telling her she's special in, like, a, you know, I need you kind of for the pilot program. You're really good at the pilot program kind of way. She's definitely not feeling it that way and that is very strange very creepy just got some kind of fixation on him i guess a little bit yikes uh fuel her desire for revenge she tenaciously seeks the culprit behind the incident unless she regularly takes her medication she suffers an intense headache and amnesia many of the first year students will call her shinonome senpai senpai defined as someone who preceded you in an organization is used as an honorific here to show respect to a senior or superior this is often used at school or places of work Okay. Okie dokie. What else? Second generation Sentinels. During the battle in 2064, A. Sekigahara piloted Sentinel number 15. Huh. The pilot of each respective Sentinel during the final battle was Karabe in 13, Ryoko in 14, and Fuyusaka in 15. Is that it? So there were like there were like five updates, but I guess only two of them were new were ones we could actually read, and the rest maybe were are ones that we have to unlock. Ha. Huh. Okay. Well. <laughs> well, well, well. That was very, very interesting. 
with the one she cherishes taken away. Oh, it's just so creepy. That just fuck. Ah. Oh. Ryoko Shinonome vowed revenge. She went after anyone she believed to be 426, but she lost consciousness due to severe headaches. Ah, oh, that's the chart. That's where you can see it. You have to be in this uh, menu. Right, okay, so for Yuki, next time we do her, we need to go to the Sakura Eye front gate. All, everything goes from there, so just so I don't fucking get confused next time, I have to read the pamphlet. I think it was, like, the second thing in the, in Nat's, Nat's journal thing. And that'll get us to the front gate, and then from there, that's where it branches off. Cool. And she can be unlocked. Okay, oh man. <laughs> Next time, we're probably going to jump back in to Shinonome. Uh, but, for now, we're going to save and quit. That was excellent. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time for more 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Thanks for watching. See you then.